For years now, I have been working towards the goal of supporting people and protecting animals and our environment with respect and dignity. My work is important to me because I know it has a ripple effect that impacts the lives of many. I am driven by curiosity to relate and understand the people I work with and for. I want to understand where we come from and what has shaped our world view. I love to tell stories, especially individual stories highlighting a community member. It is always so refreshing to hear about what they hope for in their future. Working with children for as long as I have, it became almost instinctive to once again choose to serve the children in need. Organizations across the world offer a variety of services and activities incorporating horses to aid people with special needs. Some of the most prevalent services are hippotherapy and therapeutic or adaptive horseback riding. Hippotherapy refers to how professionals use evidence-based practice and clinical reasoning in the purposeful manipulation of equine movement to engage the human sensory, neuromotor, and cognitive systems to achieve functional outcomes. In conjunction with the equine environment and other treatment strategies, hippotherapy should be a part of a patient's integrated plan of care. However, for autistic children seeking treatments at the Bukit Padang Psychiatric Hospital Sabah, that is not the case. Continuous and sustained visits have proven to be difficult due to distance and funding. Salam sejahtera everyone, my name is Wenanita Angang and I am a finalist of Miss World Malaysia 2022. And right now we are at Cowboy Town Sabandar Toran where with me I have some autistic children who have successfully rode some horses named Jeff, Mutiara and also Lara. The children were excited but it was not all smiles when we were finally able to touch the horses. Some were terrified. What mattered most though, is that every single child, even the terrified ones, were able to take a ride at least for one round. For this, I must applaud and give credit to the carers in their persistence of making sure each child overcame their fear. It honestly meant the world to me when I saw smiles not only on their lips, but also eyes, just like that of Madeline's, a non-verbal autistic child who was previously unhappy due to unfamiliar surroundings when we left the hospital compound. Table. So you can look to the left, right here, and also to the right we have some beautiful horses which, be, which would be very helpful for autistic children in their development. In sustaining visits like this, we would need the help of the mass public, which is why we have started raising funds through various channels and if you would like to be the beacon of light to these children's lives, you may join us because you are the solution to their needs. 